Chancellor Dr. Jail Datta, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, Deans, HODs, Faculty, Students, Parents, and the Press. Good evening, everybody. I am really delighted to address this 34th annual day today and uh, the 5th annual day of KL University. Actually, you know that here at KL University, we concentrate more on all-round development of the students. We give equal importance to academics and co-curricular activities. That is the reason we have given two days of technical festival which normally we conduct in the first semester and a two day cultural festival we normally conduct in the February, during February, that is in the second semester. The basically the idea of conducting technical festival is to encourage students to innovate new things and for this cultural festival this is to demonstrate their hobbies their cultural abilities because we strongly believe that along with education your hobbies is also very 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 important so we have made it mandatory that even every student must undergo one sports certificate. This is part of that actually. And we have started number of clubs. We have more than 20, 25 clubs, hobby clubs. And uh, we have almost a lot of, uh, for every club we have a technical guide. We have a technical person who is guiding the students. And uh, there is a reason actually we want the students to develop their personal hobbies and continue their hobbies throughout their life. That is the reason we are giving so much importance for this activity. And uh, coming to the regular education, I want to say something because all the, because most of the students here are engineering students, even though we have the ma management, commerce, hotel management and all those courses. But most of the students belong to engineering stream. I strongly believe and it's a fact that every student must be very strong in physics and mathematics. And you should be very, very strong in sciences, first of all, to be a, become a good engineer. Physics is nothing but the physical things which are really available in society here. So I think there is nothing for you to worry about physics. I think if you take it really, if you take it to your heart that it is nothing great, you can definitely, you should put more emphasis on physics and also on mathematics. Once you put, once you are very strong in physics and mathematics, it becomes very easy. That is the reason actually at Kale University we have made a major change we have made as science-based engineering. In fact, we have made almost 18 subjects as common subjects. Almost first three semesters we have made common. Once you are good in these 18 subjects, you can do any kind of engineering. You can do any subject afterwards. You don't need any help. So I want all the students to take it very seriously, particularly the first and second years, about these 18 common subjects which we are giving, particularly the subjects like engineering mechanics, the electrical engineering, electronics engineering, all these subjects which have made it common to all the people, including C language, CAD. Actually, unfortunately, the intermediate education in Andhra Pradesh, they have made it Almost students, they mug up everything. They, have, they are giving training to test the memory capacity of a student, not the analytical thinking of the student. But engineering is not such. 
definitely you can't mug anything. You have to do it with your brain. You have to do it with your thinking. You should think logically and you should solve the problems. That is engineering. Engineering is nothing but solving the problems. You should know how to solve the problem. You should know how to think logically. You should know how to think analytically. That is engineering. Your, the thinking capacity of your brain should increase. That is what we are trying to do at KL University. So I want all the students, see in fact, we tried maximum to teach you the C language, the engineering mechanics, the mathematics, the way with applications. We are trying to teach you, the unfortunately the students are trying to mug up. When we are asking you to do a problem, you are trying to do this, just do that problem and then forget it. You, if, if you are using the C language, you can do the same problem, you use the logic, you can do it in 100 different ways. So we want, now I instructed all my first years, particularly the SV, who is in charge for the C language, to change the entire teaching methodology and to see that it is done that in a different way so that he gives the logic, he, he sees that the logic is understood by the student. I think they started this now. The same thing I want to see that I instructed all my HODs recently to change all the subjects, all the core subjects to involve the logic into the subject. The students should not be able to mug up anything. So I want the, all the, I wanted all my, I, we are going to change the entire syllabi, the model of the syllabi that we want to see that every student, they put their brain into that subject while learning the subject, not their memory capacity. So. We are going to make this change here afterwards. In fact, we have made the, the teaching pedagogy, we have brought in the international teaching pedagogy, wherein, that is the reason in fact, actually this semester, we have made five day week for second, third and final year students. In fact, in this, actually some of the syllabi, we want the students to learn on themselves. Actually in most of the foreign universities, if you see, actually the professor comes to the class, and gives only the, just, he explains the things and then mainly the student has to spend more time at home and they give a lot of homework, they give all their problems, the problems and all that and then they have to solve at home. So students have to learn the subject on their own. The teacher is there to help them when they get stuck. But unfortunately, our model is giving A to Z on the class, in the, in the class on the board. But we want to change this model that is the reason actually we are giving one day now and uh, we are running only five days a week and then the Saturday we want the students to learn things on their own and we are going to make a lot of changes in the teaching pedagogy and if you are really, if the students start learning on their own, definitely we can reduce further these uh, teaching hours and uh, I, if, if you, some of the students come forward and they give me undertaking that they learn more, definitely I can give them more freedom, more free time so that they can learn on their own. We, we have no problem. Definitely, I want you to learn on your own. All my faculty members will be there to solve. If you, if you get stuck somewhere, they are there to guide you only. See, see, for example, this Surabhi function is there. Last three days, you have conducted it extremely well. I am so happy. Last two days, I came here and I spent about half an hour or one hour yesterday and day before. I was so happy, yesterday there were more than 6-7 thousand students, all, most of them from outside colleges they have come, you have conducted so well, so I am very very happy, it is conducted by the students only, see none of the faculty, I told them just to watch, not to involve anything, that is the reason we want you to learn things here, it is not that you do, you learn things only when you do the things, not when you listen it, when you sit in the classroom and you listen, you may not grasp anything, but when you do the problem, at your home, when you solve the problem, definitely you know that, you will understand the problem, then, then you become master in that problem. That's the reason actually, I wanted you, in fact, we have introduced even, we have uh, the lot of uh, activities here at KL University, you know that we have group discussions, we have seminars, we have association activities, we have professional society activities, all these activities are meant only for the student development. In fact, you, every student should involve in every activity. So once you involve in all these activities, you definitely you become master. I am telling you again and again, many times I told you, I am telling you again and again, if you spend and if you just follow these four years, 
whatever we say here, definitely your life will change. Uh, last week, uh, one of our student, our ex-student, who completed about four or five years back, he had come, he came to my office, he waited for about one, one and a half hours to see me, and uh, when he met me and told me, sir, I just came and met, he has become a group leader uh, in one of the top uh, MNCs, Accenture. Accenture is a top MNC and he became a group leader within four years. He just go, came and told me, sir, the various systems you have put in, uh, various systems you have embedded into the system of Kale University, we learned because of this system, because of the discipline, because of the system, the way, systematic way you taught us, I became so well in four years' time, I became a group leader in uh, Accenture. So that, that is what uh, I am trying to do here. It is, it, you just follow what we say and you try to learn everything here. I am assuring you, you become top, one of the top, I am telling you. See, in the recent, uh, in our final year students, in the recent interviews, in the IBM, I think you know, most of you know that, they selected 20 students from KL University. It is highest in the state. No, the, all other, there are about 10, 12 engineering colleges or even including universities, deemed university students went there. None of the people, none of the institute, more than in single digit only they selected. In Kale University, 20 students from got selected in IBM. You can just understand the strength of our students. I have a lot of confidence, but only thing is you just follow what we are telling. You try to work more, you try to take more from the university. See, you are spending four years here, you try to spend more. Whatever you want, we are here to provide you. I tell you, number of times I am telling from this uh, dias, and uh, you try to take it, take advantage of this four years time, and you try to do that. I think you know most of the students, I, I don't know, but uh, how, whether, uh, when, uh, I recently, when I checked uh, the, how many students are utilizing this uh, choice-based credit system, and uh, I, I found very few students. I don't know whether you don't know the system. Uh, I don't know the reason why you are not able to utilize this choice-based credit system. This, uh, particularly the, the first year now, we are going to implement it completely, fully. Uh, last two, three years, uh, we did not implement fully because our ERP package was not ready. Now our ERP package is totally ready. So we can give student, because in the choice-based system, Actually, student can study any subject he wants. There is no limit. He can study the second year subject, he can study the third year subject, he can take any subject. But only for particular, very few subjects, we have prerequisites. Uh, suppose thermodynamics 2 is there, thermodynamics 1 may be prerequisite, you may have to complete that. There are, there will be almost 50% of the courses where prerequisite will not be there. Those 50% of the courses, you can do whenever you want. And the advantage is, you can accelerate and you can finish your degree in three and a half. You, you, you can finish your, uh, these courses, the requirement of the degree, uh, close to 120, 126 or 130 credits within three and a half years time. And the six, the other balance six months of time, you can use it for doing even the, your specialization. You can do specialization in other course. Suppose a computer science student is there, you can do specialization in electronics. Mechanical student, you can do specialization in Mechanical engineering, uh, mechanical student can do in electronics or computer science can do in in some other subject other, other than his subject he can do specialization that semester and also they can get if they do additional credits uh, they, they do they get the honors degree we take honors degree and they can do specialization they can do interdisciplinary minority degree also and uh, all these things are available and even we have a study abroad program you can go one semester abroad you can do a courses there and we give credit of those courses at Kale University here and we have the credit transfers you can go to, you can do some courses outside when you feel you want to do something some other courses you can do that and I think you should utilize all these facilities this is the advantage you are you being studying at Kale University than from a regular college that you should take the advantage maximum advantage of taking these things and again coming to the laboratory facilities I think last year, last semester, we introduced the project-based labs. So we want all the students not just doing some 10, 12 experiments, simply going there and do, doing something, availing their time and not knowing anything. Then we introduced project-based labs. Every Only in the first month, the, they will be explaining all the laboratory details. And after that, they need to take up a project. 
uh, about 12 to 16 core courses are there for every engineering. All the 16 courses, you have to do projects, different projects. Uh, different projects. When you do a project, definitely your understanding of the subject will definitely go more. You go very deep into the subject. So that is the reason actually. And uh, when, when we took the feedback, I understand students are also very, very happy about this project-based labs. And, uh, and again, we have introduced this semester only, I am introducing again one more new concept. That is, we are taking laboratory to the classroom. We are taking laboratory to the classroom. That is, particularly in ECE, ECM, CSE, and some of the few courses in Tripoli, we want to introduce. For this, we are, uh, we are, going, we are asking the students to take this National Instruments, MyDoc instrument, uh, which, with, with which, with the help of that, when a faculty member is explaining something in the, in the classroom, there itself, we make you to do the experiment, practical experiment there in the classroom itself, so that the classroom becomes interactive classroom, and you will understand it more, your knowledge levels will go up more. That is the reason we are going to introduce this. Actually, from next semester onwards, we are going to make it almost compulsory in all the core subjects of the, particularly the electrical stream of ECE, ECM, CSC, and Tripoli branches. I am sure, 100% sure, by, by these two different things, that is the project-based laboratory and also laboratory taken to the classroom, you are going to become the top, I'm telling you. You are going to become top. You take it from me, you take it from me, you can easily beat out all the IIT students. I'm telling you, you just do whatever we say here. You can beat out IIT students. We, that, is, that is the way we are trying to do here. That is the way I am thinking ahead. You have to catch up, you have to pick up. And you should just follow what we say. I am assuring you, you are definitely you are going to become top. And because they are also nothing actually. They are, they are also just like you only. Those students are also just like you. And the facilities which I am create, creating you here will definitely keep you better than those students. Because I have seen a number of campus interviews. And at least in five, six, I have in writing, I have some of the companies, top companies, they went to Chennai IIT. And then immediately they came here, and our students, we got more numbers selected here. I can tell you that, I can assure you, you have the confidence with you. I am going to give you whatever you want. You just follow. You put all your mind. Don't waste your time. Either you do your hobby, or you do put your full time onto your academics. Particularly, don't mug up anything. I am telling you, I am going to make you, even I am telling you, the examination system, the entire examination system, we are going to change, we are changing. Even after we got a lot of feedback, even from the students of our entire KL University students, when our faculty members are, uh, when our faculty members are setting the papers, they are feeling more happy. When we are getting the papers from outside, they are much inferior, I'm telling you. They are not even 10% of the capacity of our faculty members setting the question papers. I can tell you, there is a reason. We are going in for complete 100% internal setting. We are going to make it very, very transparent, even the setting, question papers. We are going to give you the, actually the question banks. You are going to have 100, 200, 300 questions. We are going to give you the question banks. We are going to give the computer, we select the computer, will generate the question papers and you will get transparently the question papers. And I am going to introduce the high-end equipment in the examination cell. By next semester onwards, we are going to make it 100% transparent, everything. The papers which you have written, you can see the paper, how they have connected. We are going to make it within one week, we want to give the results. And then we want to give you transparent everything, how you got marks, how many marks you, can, you got it. You can see your paper yourself. We are going to computerize everything. We are going to do that. And that's the reason I have taken one Mr. Professor Hanmantrao Chapudi, who is very, very good. Actually, we have made him, we have made him the director examination and evaluation and he is going he promised me by next semester onwards within one week he is going to give you the results and he is going to we are going to make everything transparent